When I close my eyes, I see tech news. Doctors can't explain it. You're in big trouble. Dell is giving an early look at some of its technological innovations ahead of CES, including one that is less innovation and more a framework laptop. The company's Concept Luna explores revolutionary design ideas like making a laptop out of replaceable and repairable components, which no laptop manufacturer has ever tried to do, ever. Wow. And that is cool. Seriously though, it's great to see more manufacturers hop on the sustainable bandwagon, even if they can't help but use some Steve Jobs inspired language. However, Dell did show off some innovation with the concept Pari. Perry, a wireless webcam that you can stick in the middle of a monitor to simulate direct eye contact on video calls, at least for the person on the other end. But after getting so used to zoom awkward eyes, I don't know if I'm ready for this kind of soul to soul connection. Maybe it is Perry, blocking people's bing, bing. Eye There's just so much cool stuff happening at the edges of the screen. Don't look at me. The right to repair tide continues to swell in a more positive direction with Microsoft announcing a partnership that will allow iFixit to sell official Microsoft service tools for Surface devices. However, the tools won't be directly available to purchase by consumers with only iFixit Pro independent repairers. Repairers, sure. it's a weird word, you know? Microsoft authorized service providers and Microsoft experience centers and also Microsoft commercial customers being allowed to buy them. A lot of Microsoft people there, but this means customers will have many more options for repair besides Microsoft's themselves, which is something, okay? Baby steps, because you're a little baby and you can't repair your own things, unless it's a special laptop made by Dell. I just pooped <laughs> on my laptop. You'll pay for these modules, damn it. Hell. And Intel's Roger Kaduri said that the company is working on software that could let one device, like a thin and light laptop, use computing power from another device, like a gaming desktop, over a home network, boosting its performance. It's not cloud, it's fog. And they're including support for chips made by their rivals, like AMD and Nvidia. And because this is happening after Facebook changed their name, of course Intel is saying it's for the metaverse. It's like how after we film, I'm gonna go eat a sandwich for the metaverse. Kaduri tie this in by saying metaverse experiences will need a thousand fold increase in hardware performance to run, which I don't think is gonna be possible by hooking up your laptop to a desktop PC, but I might be missing something, you know? Power of the swarm. Ah, rude. I'll look more into it after I drive home tonight for the metaverse. Oh, that's gonna be great for the metaverse. I own property in the metaverse. Now it's time for the quick bits brought to you by NZXT's build system, which makes getting a custom built PC easier than ever. For the metaverse. Simply set your budget, see how your PC will perform in your favorite games with the super accurate recommendation system, and let Build take care of the rest for a simple, flat $99 assembly fee. Your PC will be built and shipped within 48 business hours, with all its components covered under one warranty plan, so you don't have to spend hours on the phone with eight different companies. I mean, maybe you want that if you're an extrovert, but I'm guessing no. Not this time. We hate phones. And Build is even available in Australia now. They get it down under? Blimey, let NZXT's highly trained builders help you hit the next level by checking out Build System today at the link below. Did you mean Crikey? Quick bits. I swear they're real this time. Sure, sure. They're the real thing, All man. Right. I saw them. The internet crossed its fingers when the dangerous Log4j Java vulnerability was found in basically everything last week. But your fingies didn't do anything. Ow. Just like your hopes and prayers. Hackers, including Chinese state-backed groups, have launched upwards of 840,000 attacks since Friday, with researchers at Checkpoint Security at one point logging more than 100 attacks a minute. Wow! So now is the time to be extra careful about what you do online. Don't say anything that the authoritarian metaverse won't like in the future. For the metaverse. Don't dress up as Winnie the Pooh for the metaverse. Don't dress up as a metaverse. <laughs> The Washington Post has published presentation slides used by Huawei to demonstrate their capability to surveil minority groups and political individuals of interest, like me, to the Chinese government, potentially validating widespread concerns over the company's ties to Beijing. In a statement, Huawei said they had no knowledge of the projects mentioned in the official Huawei documents, and then asked the Post where they were, and what year was it, and oh, their head hurts. I, it was on Ambien. Oh, I'm <laughs> Distracted. Speaking of Chinese technology, Oppo has revealed the Find N, a shorter folding phone, and half of an AR glasses device bringing back memories of Google Glass. Just in time for a report claiming that Google is still working on a new Google Glasses, but this time they're letting everyone else take the criticism for making essentially head-mounted cameras before they try again. People were punching each other! You remember that? That was intense. That almost never happens normally. Yeah, that was so nice. 
Bathrooms are scary. They're not safe places. Gigabyte showed off a motherboard prototype called Project Stealth this week that moves the motherboard's connectors to the back for much cleaner cable management. But as Hot Hardware points out, this is remarkably similar to a patent awarded to Main Gear back in 2011. Well, it's 10 years later, baby, and someone had to make the PCs look less like cyberpunk spaghetti. Sure, that sounds cool, but you can't eat it. So what's the point? It gives you pads, gives you bonus. These cables are al dente. <laughs> And Spatial, the augmented reality workspace app, isn't focusing on workspaces anymore. They're transitioning into virtual art galleries to display NFTs. <laughs> For the metaverse! Yeah, of it actually works this time. And also, the studio behind the long in development Stalker 2 announced their game will sell NFTs of NPCs they're calling MetaHumans. Yeah for the metaverse, when it actually does launch again in the metaverse. You know, the metaverse is sounding more and more like a never-ending snooty art trading event, and I'm down. Why game with friends when you can buy each other's skins? Yeah. Wait, not like that. They're accruing in value. Well, this metaverse is over, so come back on Friday for another metaverse. I hope you do. You're my favorite metaverse. Metaverse, meta, verse. Oh no, verse. he's turning into a Pokemon. Meta, metaverse.